He's got a new weapon to show for it. I don't want bear. My chosen party of Cloud Tief and Red 13. A very powerful weapon. <laughs> All right, let's see. Uh, so we got a long ways to go. Gravity, Earth added effect. I don't think I need anything. Um, so let's go ahead and save before we head on out. Our next destination. Hmm. Is going to be Nibelium. You should remember it from the flashback. To get to Nib well, actually since it you see the little rock up there, which kinda of went out of view. That is the ancient forest. Um I won't touch base on where or how to get to it, but uh, it's got some interesting uh, importance to the story, I suppose. Some cool weapons and items to find there. Head over this river. Between the mountains, we'll find the Bellium. First... What? This was all supposed to be burnt down, right? I thought so. Then why? My house is still there too. I wonder what's going on. I'm not lying. I remember the intense heat of the flames. Well, as you can see, Something's up. And they just got these really weird black figures. Ooh, ooh he's calling. Sephiroth is calling. Got mine plus. This one doesn't give you anything. The great Sephiroth is near. Inside, inside the mansion, Urg, the great Sephiroth. Now, what we want to do is to get some pretty free stuff. Let's go and take some free items. Everyone here will pretend to not know what you're talking about when you talk about the town being burnt down. It's all a bit of a cover-up from Shinra. A man in a black cape. He has a tattoo of the number 12. Hmm, he has something. Elixir. Just rubbing these people blind. Can you hear the voice of Sephiroth? Now these people are what are known as the men in black capes, also known as Sephiroth clones. The clone is a translation issue. Err, must go to reunion. Fine, don't give me any items, you stupid black caped wearing fool. I didn't think there was anyone in here. Let's just go in all these places for nostalgia value. If you go into Cloud's house, which you I didn't do in the flashback, you'll find someone who isn't his mother, saying that she's been here her entire life. Blah, blah, blah. Now let's go into Tifa's house. Must get it and bring to Sephiroth. Then become one with Sephiroth. This guy's number... This guy's number five. He has a tattoo of the number eleven. Receive Turbo Ether. Must go reunion. If you're drawing any parallels to the... This guy are sick from the Midgar uh, five slums. Very good. 
Tattoo number four. Platinum fist. Where are you, great Sephiroth? Now, if you play the piano correctly in the flashback, here's where you get your chance at the second out of three elementals in the entire game. Perhaps I'm mistaken. I'm almost positive you get that. Ah, uh, I am mistaken. You, you don't get the elemental until later. Ellipses. Lux source. Alright, the only other place left to go is the Shinra Mansion. First we'll go to Sephiroth and then we'll do some stuff here. Since that's right there, I'll take the magic source. Now, there are random battles, so be careful. Note the music playing. You remember that room I told you that was locked before? We're going to be able to get into there really shortly. Sephiroth. Being here brings back memories. Are you going to participate in the reunion? I don't even know what a reunion is. Genova will be at the reunion. Genova will join the reunion, becoming a calamity from the skies. Genova, a calamity from the skies? You mean she wasn't an agent? I see. I don't think you have the right to participate. I will go north past Mount Nabel if you wish to find out. Then follow. Reunion? Calamity from the skies? Just throw materia at me, bitch. Pick up the destruct materia. Which will be very, very useful later in <laughs> pretty much at the end of the game. Alright, we've seen th what we've needed to see. Although it may seem crazy, we're going to be fighting the first optional boss fight in the entire game. Let's heal up. It's going to be a tough fight. Let's see, what do I have on? Okay, who's got the... He's got... So Cloud's got the most MP. He's going to be the one that's going to have to give us big guard. And Aqualung. Who's got poison? Okay, he's got poison. Alright. This is going to be tough. Let's even go ahead and inflict... 
Sadness. That's gonna be my trick here. Let's go ahead and save. Alright, we're going to be fighting a boss known as Lost Number. You don't have to fight him, but what the rewards are, and this is the only way to get our next secret character, I have to do this now. And this room is a safe. Now, you need to know the combination to get into it. I happen to know my memory. Right 36, left 10, right 59, right 97. You have 20 seconds. You must not pass the number you're going to, and you must confirm it each time you reach the number. Succeed, and you will open it to get the basement key and the Odin materia. However, before you can get those items, you have to fight lost number. Arguably the most toughest boss fight so far in the game as it has 7,000 HP, and by its halfway point, depending on which ta type of attack pushes it to the its second half of H its HP, it's about the 3,500 mark, it will change its form to strictly physical or strictly magical, and it will kick your character's ass. Now, it's going to be tough, but with Sadness and the back row, we'll negate most physical attacks you know, it might deal to us. But we want to have Big Guard working at all times to prevent the magical damage from really hurting. And um, for the most part, there's another thing we want to do. We want ATB to be set to wait. It'll take a longer time to win, but Big Guard will last many, many rounds longer. And we also have a right arm uh, to finish it off. Um, it's do or die time. <laughs> Hopefully uh, I win. I have a bad feeling about this. Still open the safe.